down here, uh, customer just made a pair of seed bed for cornfield. Customer just purchased this John Deere 9510R tractor. This module features our HP 9040 module, that is an injector driver module. Uh, down here, we've got a 30 foot land all vertical tillage tool along with a 30 foot packer dual roller. Uh, it's quite a bit of weight with the packer added, We're trying to run anywhere from uh, consistent speeds trying to maintain ground speed and reduce as much load as possible. We're going to go through and ride along with him and see what a comparison is with the module on stock as well on 30% to see what kind of gains we can see as far as fuel efficiency, reduced engine load, as well as ground speed. So stay tuned. We're down in the cab of the tractor. We turned the module on stock. Uh, we're just kind of analyzing some of the characteristics as what we're seeing in the field. As you can tell, conditions are fairly dry down here. We've had minimal rain compared to the northern Midwest. Uh, we're pulling this VT tool about two and a half, three inches deep. Uh, get a nice seed bed preparation. It's leveling out nice. As you can see on our performance screen, we're on 1950 inch RPMs and it is turned down a little bit. Try and conserve fuel even in a stock position. Uh, we're running anywhere from seven, eight mile an hour. If you look on the performance screen on the armrest, the engine load is anywhere from, it seems to be 85 to over 100%, up in that 110% range. It bounces back and forth. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's pulling too hard, but definitely the module is going to help with reducing the engine load. We'll be able to tell the difference in the sound of the engine. It's going to be able to maintain on the power curve more efficiently. And with that, it's going to help with your fuel and air atomization in order to allow for better fuel consumption and increased horsepower. Uh, we're going to make a couple more passes here and see if we notice any difference. As I said, that Brut or Landall Packer is pulling pretty hard. I mean, that is a heavy tool. It's got solid rollers. Uh, the VT tool is doing a nice job cutting everything up. Uh, soil moisture, not much there. As you can tell, it's a little damp and it's dried out pretty quick as soon as the sun and the wind hits it. So we're going to make a couple more passes in the stock position and see what we come up with. And finally, we're going to get out, turn the module on 30%, and make a common comparison there. We now made an adjustment and turned the module back on at 30%. And man, what a difference it is making. Uh, as soon as we put the implement in the ground, uh, it didn't bog down as much coming off the end row. As you can tell, on our engine load scale, it's not even close to where it was as far as exceeding over 100% load. It's staying around that 70 to 80% range now, which is highly substantial. That's where you're gonna see your fuel savings at with the engine running a lot smoother. Uh, inside the cab, it's still fairly quiet, but you can tell that the engine is definitely maintaining on the power curve better. A little bit louder, sounds healthier. It's not stalling out or bogging down as much. Uh, we're able to run less RPMs uh, in the same gear. And we can also bump it up a gear and maintain the same RPMs along with the same ground speed. So uh, running these at lower RPMs, lower engine load is definitely where it's at when it comes to time and uh, gaining your performance and your fuel efficiency. Uh, going throughout the field, whatever you're doing, whether it be maybe uh, running a vertical tillage tool, field cultivator, ripper, so on and so forth. So we're going to keep making a couple passes here and see if we notice any gain. We're starting to get a little bit more curvature within the field, not much, but uh, we'll see what kind of difference it makes going on throughout the rest of the field. Well, it's evident we got another great product for another happy customer. I want to touch base with you guys while you're out in the field. Be sure to go online and check us out on Ag Diesel Solutions, our Facebook page or Instagram for any updates and any part number releases that we may have coming. There's a lot of things in the work for this year. I know you guys are getting into some tough situations depending on where you're at with them throughout North America. If you're in any situations where you've been in a field that's had heavy rainfall and it's pulling heavy, having a hard time getting your field cultivator or tillage tool throughout the field, be sure to check us out online. We may have the solution for you as far as helping you with your horsepower requirements to get through, through those tough times to help you get the crop out as efficiently and as effectively as possible. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Stay tuned. We hope to have some more videos coming yet this spring. Always remember to farm smart, farm efficient, farm with Ag Diesel Solutions performance modules. Thank you guys and have a great day.